Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm actually the guy who stands between this audience and lunch, so I'll hurry up. Um, Mitra is, um, as the name suggests, is an abbreviation. It's M stands for machines, information, technology, resources, and agriculture. We were founded two years ago, and uh, I, my personal background is I spent most of my professional career in the U.S. for about 15 years. Uh, worked at a private equity fund that invested in agriculture and basically used that knowledge to come a couple of years ago and found the company and I, we teamed up with agronomists and engineers to look at specialty farm equipment and horticultural equipment and see the opportunities in the space. So we're actually providers. We started by renting uh, horticultural equipment and because it was not available in the country we started importing it and then realized that the imported equipment was not Actually, it, it was working, but it wasn't working perfectly for the farms. We started doing some R&D and assembly. And uh, so that's the path that we've taken. Uh, we make a variety of machines, mulchers, weeders, dusters. We can get into that when we have, uh, I can get into a personal dialogue with people about that. But um, we've been blessed with very supportive investors, uh, such as Unilaser, uh, since uh, the beginning of our development. So what I, want, what I really want to talk about is the experiences that, we, that, that we've had at the farm. We've been living at the farm for the last two years um, and what we've learned. Uh, basically, for me, you know, there's a, a lot of discussions that happen in the morning about horticulture and agriculture equipment. We see adoption happening at the medium to large farmer level. And that segment in itself is quite large. Um, it's not as big as the entire uh, gamut, but it's, it's pretty large. We see people actually leapfrogging in terms of technology, taking conventional method, um, preferring machines that are a lot more sophisticated, maybe doubly priced than the next alternative, both being uh, effective, but taking a much more expensive machine because they're basically businessmen, they're growers, and they don't want to compromise on their output. Um, that doesn't mean that that technology cannot be brought at a lower cost level for smaller growers. And I think that opportunity really exists, which is why Metra is here. But we're seeing adoption. Um, it's tax-free income, which is increasing every year with agricultural growth. So uh, we're, uh, the whole uh, market is quite positive in the spirit. Secondly, um, we also see for the small farmer a very strong trend of entrepreneurship. And why, uh, what I mean by that is we were talking about direct services being provided as rentals to farmers. We started doing that, but we also saw entrepreneurs come to us and say, listen, we want to purchase the machine from you and build uh, you know, a small three, four equipment rental business. I think that needs to be encouraged and equipment needs to be modified for those, for those entrepreneurs, which we're doing already. We also see entrepreneurship at the dealer level. The tractor dealer is seeing opportunities and implements and he's trying to partner with companies like us and say, listen, you know, I've got a tractor. If you can make it fit for my, for, for my particular uh, tractor, let me, let me think about, you know, helping you get into the market. So I think this entrepreneurial spirit needs to be channelized and it's an opportunity for anyone in agri-equipment or any other input. Um, and then finally, I, you know, horticultural equipment I see or agricultural equipment as a whole the biggest opportunity is for tractor companies and entrepreneurs like us to partner. I know tractor companies are doing you know, phenomenally well. Uh, it's a uh, you know, very large market. But if an equipment actually elongates or increases the duration of uh, use in a particular year of that tractor, you know, we're helping cross-sell the tractor and you know, the other way around. So, or if we can make an equipment which is imported that only works for a 24 HP tractor and you make it suitable for the 18 HP tractor that is made by uh, uh, an Indian tractor company, you can, uh, you know, you can, uh, that, that enhances the market. So, um, you know, that, that also I think is a, a, a valid, um, some, some, a growth opportunity for us. What I want to do lastly is say, you know, I want to use this forum not for capital. Um, capital will come and, you know, I think, uh, um, you know, as we keep growing, uh, we'll be looking to partner with, uh, uh, with financial providers in the space, but I think I want to use this forum to appeal to entrepreneurs in the space, in this audience, that uh, feel that there's an opportunity in agriculture and don't uh, know if they should sort of take the step or not. Mitra is building a fantastic platform. Uh, we've got a team of 
engineers and agronomists. We're you know living at a farm, and I think people here who are in urban cities thinking about agriculture, I'm saying, should think about joining and actually joining Mitra as a platform. So I'd love to have an individual dialogue with anyone who's thinking about that. Thank you very much.